Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope I hope this find you well. So remember that uh, we are still subscribing people uh, for the event um, in the group fire mostly. And um, these next days are the last ones that you uh, can um, roll in. Mm -hmm. um, so next week we, we can start working on everything that Egypt needs from us <clears throat> to make it possible. As I told you, if you want to be part of this, must be this week for sure. Um, remember that, uh, well, today we are going to talk about the task that each one of the groups will have and the schedule for the entire event. So um, uh, some people are still asking, what do we, what is this event? What do they have to do in each group? So if you need more information, remember that um, that in the website, yosoy2022.org, you can find all the answers. So let's begin today with um, our topic, which is the schedule, um, the itinerary, and the task. So let's remember again, in this planetary task, we have five groups. The four groups are the elements, the idyllium. We have group water, we have the group fire, we have the group earth, the group air, and the group ether. I will begin with this uh, thing that sometimes it comes up many times, which is not necessary to be spoken, but sometimes it really clarifies some things, um, which is the topic of money, the cost of the event. <clears throat> so first of all, why the group water is the most expensive? This is easy because it's the one that has much more services in their group because it has visa to get inside the, the uh, Egypt, it has included uh, hotels, five-star hotels, and I will explain why uh, it's that hotel. Um, I will, um, so um, also the cruise, like one week cruise with normal and private visits to each one of the temples and pyramids. Uh, you have the organization. Um, you have the cost of bringing the organization to the event. Uh, you have the um, 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 the Egypt organization from the agency. Uh, you have food, water, um, mm, the event itself. Um, so many things. So many things. That that's why it's so expensive. Okay, that makes the event so expensive. Okay, uh, that's why water is like that. It includes too many things and those who can pay it well they can pay it but that's why it's so expensive because it has too many things uh, to offer mm -hmm. um, so uh, the other thing uh, the other one is the group fire the group fire is the other one that is also expensive why because it includes also the visa also all the costs of the event the organization in Egypt the organization in Argentina it includes the um, the um, uh, five-star hotel too, that I will explain why is the five-star hotel. Um, also um, food, water, uh, private visit to the Great Pyramid, private visit to the Great Sphinx, um, the concert. Uh, it has so many things inside also, but they don't have the cruise, the inner flights in Egypt, uh, and um, the private visit to the temples. So that's why it's half uh, cheap, okay? Um, so that's what fire includes. So um, the question, 
So the thing is, why have we chosen a five-star hotel instead of one that is cheaper? Um, why, one that is cheaper, um, uh, like two or three stars, and so uh, much more people could go. So here's my answer. Um, so here are the two reasons why are this this hotel is this hotel. First of all, because when you listen to three star um, uh, three star um, hotel in Egypt, usually actually is two or one star. So it's not recommended. It's not really good. You're not going to sleep very well. Uh, and we wanted everyone to be really concentrated and feeling at home and not having to deal with all this crazy stuff that usually, believe me, happen in those kind of, of hotels that you don't like, that you want to uh, be comfortable. So we wanted for everyone to feel comfortable. That's the first thing. And the other thing, um, the other thing, the second thing is that the place where we are going to do the event is owned by the hotel. So they said, if you do it here, you need to fill up our rooms. So basically, we did this agreement of uh, in order to have the perfect place to do the gathering, we needed to use the hotel that owns the place where the gathering is going to be held. So um, those are the two reasons why is that hotel and not others that are cheaper. This is why water and fire are so expensive, but we have earth and air that are much more cheaper and they don't have any services. They don't have nothing else but the gathering, the event, and earth will have only one private to the Sphinx. So uh, all the rest is in your own. Okay, so that's why um, uh, the earth group and and air group um, doesn't have uh, um, uh, all those things, and that's why it's cheaper. Earth and air, um, uh, that they don't have anything included but the event and some little stuff more. Um, um, we decided to create these two other options because a lot of people um, wanted to to go to the event but they are not willing to pay so much uh, and they rather go to an airbnb or to somebody home if you have friends or or cheaper hotel or you rather eat in the street so that's on you it's your own responsibility so uh, there's a lot of people that are willing to do that that's why we created these two options okay um that are much more cheaper for those people that they want to arrange everything for themselves hmm? i must thank the group water and fire because those two groups are the ones also helping us to pay all the things that we need to make this in egypt because it's really difficult it's not easy <clears throat> to organize something to organize something in that country uh so that's why um, we are um, uh, we are also asking not only to complete the amount of people that we need <clears throat> for uh, for the task, but also because that's the amount of money that we need to pay everything. <clears throat> so there is no doubt doubts in in all this. So this is why also we need you. It's this is um, I'm not lying to you. That that's the truth. <laughs> um, so if you want to be part, remember, it's only this week. Next week, we are not going to put anybody else in the group uh, fire. OK, so I'm so sorry, but um, you're not uh, going to be able to be part of fire next week. So for the fifth group, which is Ether, is completely free, of course, um, because you are at home. And um, this will be. Um, uh, uh, live streaming, um, live streamed through my Instagram and the from RCM Foundation Instagram, Facebook, and um, of course here, mainly here in the in our 
YouTube channel, RCM uh, channel, which is this one. So if you are Ether group, so be part of, of this, stay tuned. Um, so you can receive the notifications uh, and follow all the event. Mm -hmm. And another thing that was really weird is that we are receiving a lot of emails um, um, that we are receiving a lot of emails asking if we can make some, uh, if I, if we can um, receive quotes for for payments, like um, if we can pay in, uh, if they can pay in twelve months or or like this, and uh, also if we can um, give money to the people to go to the to the event like if we um how do you say like well basically we are not the bank we are we are not uh giving money to people to um to go to an event because the 80 percent of what the people is paying is not for us is it goes for stuff that we have to pay in egypt is all the cost that we need to cover in Egypt and the 20% rest is to uh, uh, to pay the organization. Uh, so basically, it's, uh, we are not a bank, okay? So if you are asking to us to give you money so you can go or to make a loan to you, um, um, so we cannot, okay? Uh, so, because we are a foundation, we are not the bank. Okay. Uh, so, um, I wanted to clarify this. Okay, because um, it, I know that a lot of people doesn't have the money to go, but we are not the, the organization to do that. We already um, have paid uh, twelve people. That, that are from the RCM Foundation, um, that we extended like, um, um, how was it? Like we choose some people like uh, in a kind of a lottery <clears throat> to, to pay for them to go to Egypt, part of the members of the foundation. We did that lottery and 12 people were chosen to go. So um, we already did that. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, um, I have been, I have written some, uh, some messages sometimes saying that, oh, this is a, this is only for rich people. Um, or this is only for people that can't pay it. And yes, of course, if you have to travel, you have to pay a ticket. If you want to sleep, you have to pay a hotel. You need to pay these things. It is, you cannot do it for free stuff that you need to pay to. Um, so that's why we created different options, even for people that are not able to pay. Um, and you can be there even paying just a tiny amount of, of, of money or not paying anything by being wherever you want to be. So please don't say that we are doing this for the people, only the people that has money or, uh, or that you are poor, that you don't have the money to do it, because it's not like that. Uh, we are, I am every day explaining what everyone is going to do, even those who are everywhere. Hmm? So, um, yeah. And also remember, I've been two years talking about this event. So it's, it's not something new. Um, so um, talking about the schedule, the itinerary of the event, uh, I will explain now what are we going to do, where do we go, and what is the task mainly that we are going to do in those places. But um, it's important. Um, uh, it's important for us to to understand that mainly we are gonna uh, flow, okay? It's about flowing all the time. 
So sometimes we'll change. Things uh, are not going to be exactly as we expected in many of the moments. So um, things can be tricky and changing all the time. OK? You have to be adapted to that constant change. I will go group by group, starting by water. But um, so pay attention to your group mainly, but try to have in mind the rest of the groups, what they are going to do. So you so we can be one. We can work in this all together. Mm -hmm. February 9th. Group Water will arrive to Egypt, mostly. And uh, the 10th at 4 p.m. will be our reunion, our meeting, to explain as an informative meeting to begin our trip. OK, so at, at 4 p.m. we will have the meeting in the same hotel that we all are going to stay, which is the hotel at the airport. Um, so the day 10, we will have to go to sleep early because the 11th, we will have two flights divided in two groups, one at 5.50 uh, in the morning and the other one at 6.30 in the morning, okay? So 30 minutes difference. We will all going to fly to the south of Egypt to the city of Aswan. Um, so the day 11th, we start with the cruise. And the word is beautiful, a cruise. So maybe you feel, you say, oh, what beautiful. We will be like in a holiday. No. If you are traveling with me, it's never really a holiday. OK, so this is not like we are going to be enjoying the cruise. We will work in the cruise. We will have to do many things in order to get ready for the next temple. OK, so. Um, those who have come with me, I don't know why you turn, why, why you came back, but um, actually it's not like holiday. Um, it, you have to get ready. My advice is for you to sleep as much as you can before you come to Egypt. Taking count that we are going to sleep very little, and this has its own logic. So I would recommend this also for the other groups. Uh, so the logics of not sleeping much is because when you sleep a lot and then the other day you, you wake up, your brain is like sending signals, trying to understand everything that happens. So you are like in a constant state of alarm. Mm -hmm. uh, so you are not able to feel, to sense the things. You are all the time thinking of the things. So when you sleep less, uh, your, your brain gets tired of being in alert and it starts to be permeabilized so you can feel, you can perceive, sense the stones, the temples, your memories, your emotions, okay? So let all that come. That's why I would recommend not only for the water group, but also for the other groups to try to sleep less the days of the activation. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I will ask to all of you is to please don't eat animals during the days of the event. And those who go to Egypt, please try not to do it for one week before you, we start with the event. Um, why is this? Because, um, because when you eat, you uh, and try to, to eat less, a lot less, because when you eat, all the energy goes to the stomach and all the energy goes to the process of digestion. So what we need to do um, is to clean up all that. So by eating vegetables, fruits, and eating less, you are cleaning your connection. Hmm? You're cleaning your, your, your body. So that's the main thing that I will ask for to all of you to try to not eat, to not to eat much. And if you are um, a carnivore, you eat a lot of meat, 
please talk to somebody that can arrange for you a new diet for those days, okay? Because please try not to have any dead body inside your, um, your body um, during the activations, okay? Uh, the other thing that we, um, that we uh, have to have in mind is that when we eat less and when we sleep less, we start to get a little bit crazy. Why is that? Because all the energy that we were um, that we were um, eating, all the energy that we have stuck in our body, are based in our desires and needs from the outer world. That's why we eat or we need stuff to complete what we lack from in our body. So when we are not giving that to the body, the emotions, the energy starts to come out and we start to get in a very bad mood, uh, which is all this energy that is addict to something, okay? So, um, so maybe those days, eating less and sleeping less, some of us can get a little bit crazy and a little bit mad. Hmm? So what do we do with that? So what can I do in order to control this or to reestablish a balance in between the energy that I have inside of my body? <clears throat> what we have to do is two main things. Breathe consciously and laugh a lot. So first thing, um, to breathe. How are we going to breathe in order to oxygen our brain so we can reestablish the energy? Breathing by those all the time. Breathe in. All the time as you can, you breathe in. All the time as you can hold, you hold your breath inside. And all the time as you can, you breathe out. Okay? So that way we are going to oxygen our body and control this huge amount of energy that is um, emerging from our body. So it would be. As long as you can. And then laugh, laugh a lot. Okay, laugh a lot. That's the main thing. So try to find out stuff that makes you laugh. Okay. Um, so I know that some people get very picky in um, in what to eat, what to not. Like not coffee, not milk, not uh, not um, flour. Uh, I won't get that picky. I will only say try not to eat a lot. Please try to eat less to feel light. So in your infinite wisdom, physical infinite wisdom, you will know how do you feel light, okay? So that's the main thing. And uh, the second thing is those days, try not to have any dead body inside, okay? And I say this, uh, not to have any dead body, any animal, because the animals are animal, which means that move, so they have emotional energy. So I will ask for all of you to not to have emotional energy from other animals those days of the activation. Please, that's it. Hmm? See? So I will ask this for all five groups, the five groups that, do, that does the task, please. Hmm? So having this in mind for the five groups, we keep going with uh, water. So the first day, the day 11th, we will go and touch the water. We will be in the water of the Nile and we will enter in a communion with the water of the Nile because the group water must become the Nile itself to receive the data of each one of the temples. So that's why the first thing that we will do is to enter in this communion with the water. Okay, uh, that's the main thing. So we have to clean what we have been bring him from other places, from our home, so we could uh, receive the information uh, in this um, um, <clears throat> in this in denial. And now I will ask for 
fire and water, mainly water, to have this in mind. This is not an initiatic path. This is a planetary task, not an initiatic path. Have this very recorded in your mind. Okay? Not initiatic path. So why I'm saying this, that this is not an initiatic path? Because um, some, some of you maybe are used that I behave like a teacher in school uh, when we do this kind of trips, teaching you stuff, explaining you stuff, and then behaving more like a, like a, like a teacher in, in an excursion with school. Uh, that would be an initiative path, but this is not, this is a task. So maybe I will be very straight and um, I will ask for you to do the task. And um, <clears throat> meaning that I will not give any place to personal things. I will not give any place to stuff for the ego. I will be very tough with this. So sorry in advance. Hmm? Another thing that I, <laughs> that I will say is we are doing a planetary task. So we are not going to be tourists in the temples. OK? If you want to take pictures, that will be in the normal visits after our private visit. But during our private visit, I don't want to see any phone. If I see any phone in a hand taking a picture, it won't be me, okay? <laughs> uh, we never know which masters are we going to meet there. Sometimes they are very lovely. Sometimes they're, they are very strong, tough, okay? Uh, I'm so sorry that if I am behaving like a, like a, a principal in a school, but uh, this must be perfect. So um, I'm sorry if it looks like this, but yeah. Um, I trust that we are all are going to do it properly. So the day 12, we will go to the temple of Philae. Philae, that is the temple of the mother. The temple of the mother meaning the Mother Earth. Um, the Mother Earth. So we are gonna there, we are gonna go there to take the information of Mother Earth for this uh, for this trip, for this path. Um, <clears throat> so the information we are gonna be open to receive there in the temple is with the generator of life. The creator itself hmm? so the temple of Komombo, we will go that same night and we will work in the transcendence how to learn how to die the information of how to die in order to become something different and transcend the forms hmm? and how to use the the previous energy to the, create something new hmm? so the day 13th we will go to edfu the temple of the sun, the temple of the I am, of the ego. So we will go there to look for the information of the self. Hmm? Uh, so the day 14th, we will go to Karnak and Luxor. So Karnak is the temple of the body, to, to make our body a temple. And then Luxor is the essence of the being that inhabits that body. Okay, so we will look for the information of all that. So the day 15th, we will go to Dendera, which is the temple of the heart, the love, the expansion of the heart. So that's the information that we will be receiving. Mm -hmm. uh, so the day 16th, we, 16th, we will go to Osirian temple in Abydos, and we will, um, we will receive the, the, the information of the flower of life, which is the basis for the entire network. The day 17, we fly back to Cairo. The day 17 that we fly back to, to Cairo, 
pay attention because maybe we will do uh, transmission, uh, live streaming to integrate everything that we have been doing during the night cruise, uh, sharing with all of you. Okay, so pay attention because I will be sharing when exactly we will do this. Hmm? So I don't really know if we are going to do this the 16th in the morning, uh, sorry, in the evening or the 17th during the morning. Hmm? Pay attention because in this canal here in RCM Foundation uh, YouTube channel, we will do, I don't know if the 16th or the 17th, we will do this live streaming for all of you to have the concepts of what we have been receiving and working in the temples of the Nile. Okay, so uh, you will have that uh, online so you can receive this information and we can all be on the same page. So the day 18th, the group water, we will go to the pyramids of Dashur and Saqqara. So the day 18th with the group water, we will go to the pyramids of Dashur and Saqqara. And there we will be working in the unity, the connection between the three levels of consciousness, conscious, unconscious, and subconscious with the spiritual, the emotion, the, the soul and the body to put all that together in order to spread um, the um, the patterns and codes of the metatron cube okay so that's what we will work um that day the 18th so the day 19th is the beginning of our event so that day the group water will be spread in the group fire because during all these days the group water has to become the data the information that we have been going through in the nile and then arriving to the to Cairo, the day 19, will become part of the group fire. Um, so um, the intention is for the information of the group water to be spread along the group fire. And these groups are already formed. They are the groups in WhatsApp that you have with each coordinator that we already spoke. So the 144 of uh, water will be spread in, in 45 parts that will be spread in the group's fire. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, the group water will be the information and the group fire will be the one that expands this information to the network, which is exactly what happened with our reality. The water and fire, a volcano in the sea, both together were the ones that created life. They created the first chemicals that creates the cell. So that's why water and fire will work together. So the information of water can be spread as the first cell that expands towards the network as the flower of life. That's why both together will work together, mm -hmm. will work uh, as one um, mixed. Uh, so the day 19 in the morning, we will start to form the groups. So you all are going to arrive, uh, group water and fire will arrive to the gathering and you will have the inscription where you will be given um, a wristband uh, to identify which group are you in. And then the coordinator will be waiting for you inside the Kundalini stage. Um, so you can form the groups and start to meet to one another physically. So from 9 a.m. the 19th, you will start to be brought by your hotels with our buses okay, to the event. When you reach the event, you will go through a path and in the Kundalini will be the reception. Okay, So from 10 to 12 a.m. the 19th, will be the reception of all the people for these two groups. Hmm? So the first thing that the coordinators will do with you is to uh, create each one of the groups so you can share, talk, laugh, know each other, and share a little bit before we start with everything. So this, the, the second thing that we will do is when I introduce the event and I uh, receive everyone, I will guide with someone else. I will start to guide an activity to put each one of the groups
those can work as one and energetically they become only one cell. So we will have 45 cells in the event. Okay. The second thing that the, the, the other thing that we will do after this is that um, that we are all going to be sent through a stairs that will be the purge of energy. So um, we will go through these stairs where there will be people with some drums, music, water spray, um, fire. Well, not fire, but but um, the smoke. Uh, so we can cleanse ourselves to uh, to get inside the golf field where we are going to do the activities. Hmm? For the group ether, remember that uh, you will be um, you will be able to access to the talks and everything that I will do and that we all do together, not to the activities that will be held in the field. You will be um, um, present uh, online uh, during, um, during our activities all together after 4 p.m. Egypt. Hmm? So that same day, we will have the 45 activities uh, with your groups to prepare for the pyramid, to start to get inside the pyramid. Hmm? From, 14, for, from 2 p.m., the group, um, the group Earth and Air will be uh, starting their activities inside the Kundalini. Okay, so we will have someone guiding the activities so you can get ready and prepare for what we are going to do. Okay? Yeah. So for the groups Earth, Air, and Ether, this day, the 19th, will be the first practice. Okay? So for Earth, Air, and, um, and Ether, the days of real work will be the 20, 21st, and 22nd. Okay, so the twenty, so the nineteenth, be ready, start to get in the mood. So you have to work the other three days mainly. Hmm? Um, so every day, the group Earth and Air will have someone giving you the explanations to the task that you will do. So you will have one hour to prepare yourself for a specific task. Okay, so. Uh, and then you will have free time for your free activities. And now I will explain what are the free activities. So uh, what are the free activities? The free activities um, will be the next. Uh, remember that the group fire and earth, sorry, oh, sorry, fire and water, the group fire and water, will have activities to do. Uh, in the morning, like two hours of activities for sure, okay? Um, that you have to do with your guide, with your coordinator. Then a few of those coordinators will have some uh, activities to do with the fire and air group, okay? So you get ready for what is going to happen next. In the meantime, in the times that there is that there are no activities that we have programmed, and waiting for me to come to do the, the task that we all have to do together, in that meantime that you are free, everyone, whoever feels that they can do something, that they can share an activity, a therapy, uh, uh, an artistic uh, activity, whatever you want to share, you can do in that moment. Okay, so you will have like three hours uh, to do activities, to be free, to sit down on a, on a tree, um, to do whatever. But try not to be that much spiritual. Remember, we have to do it in a way that is not that spiritual. Okay, so try to do it much more artistically. Uh, also, we will have like every gathering of 1111, we will have this place to paint. OK, so we will have the painting there. Someone will be at, administrating the painting. So everyone can also do some uh, beautiful drawings and paintings with acrylic in the walls. OK, 
Um, so you can do whatever you want to, to do and bring the activity you want to share with everyone because everyone will be there joining you um, freely. Um, so that night 19 from 21, so from 9 p.m. that night till 7 a.m. the 20th, five groups will enter the pyramid. Five groups of 99 people. So I will explain how we are gonna get into the pyramids, how how it's gonna be the activate the the activity. The, the, the schedule. Important. Uh, the first groups of every day that will go to the pyramid will have to eat together and be uh, in the in the in in the area. So you are not going to be able to come back to the hotel. Uh, there's no there's no way to come back to the hotel. You have to stay there. You will have to eat around there. Everything will be organized with the coordinator. Don't worry. So it's not that you have to figure out what to do. Everything is already organized. So um, you will go all together. Me from the stage will say, now the group with the letter blah, blah, will go that place to find with the coordinator. So from there, you start, OK? So don't worry. Everything will be organized. So that group is the first one on going to the pyramid. That's why it must stay close by the pyramid. The other groups will come back to the hotel. So when we go out of the event, there will be buses that they will have the letter of our group. So I only go inside the bus that has my letter, OK? The letter of my group. No other, just the letter of my group. That bus will take me to the uh to the hotel and then will be people paying attention if you are in the bus when you have to come back to the pyramid so you have to be aware you have to be um ready for that moment okay you have to be in the bus but in case someone fell asleep or something like this we will have people looking for you in the room so um okay um so that for the other groups that will go during the morning, during the early in the morning, OK? So the bus will take you to the hotel from the from the event to the hotel. You can take a shower, take a um, eat something. And then the same bus will take you back to the pyramid and then take you back to the hotel to sleep, OK? So um, have that in mind. Uh, for the groups that are going the last ones uh, uh, at 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. to the pyramid, it's better for you to go to sleep immediately you arrive to the hotel. So you have hours of sleeping because otherwise uh, you will have to come back early again in the morning for the activities in the event. Uh, so there will be only one day that you won't sleep really very well. Okay. So first group on entering, MHS. MHS from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. The next group, NPHSS, will be from 11 p.m. till 1 a.m. The other group, NH, F, SH, will be 1 a.m. till 3 a.m. The other group is this one, Nya V, Ch, from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. So the other group will be this one, ya, the, the, 
from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. ¿Mm? Entonces, so the, nine, 19, the, the day 19th, these groups enter, enter the pyramid, and early in the morning, the 20th, these groups enter the pyramid. Okay? So these are the other groups. These two will enter the night of the 20th, and these other three will enter early in the morning, the day um, 21st. Hmm? Hmm? So these are the other groups for the last night, which will be these two, the night of the 21st, and these three early in the morning, the 22nd. <clears throat> okay, so you can freeze the image and you see that. So all this will be written. You will have it everywhere in the event and we'll have it, you will have it online too. So don't worry about this, but I am explaining this so you already know. So when you read the paper, you can say, oh, yes, I remember this, okay? Perfect. Um, so the day 20, 22, after an explanation, uh, we will move everybody in buses to in front of the Sphinx to a place called Light and Sound. This place will be like organized as, a, as an event, a music event, that in the stage will be uh, Guille, Patricia, Sabri, Juli, and me. Hmm? But this is not a concert. This will be a concert because we are all going to be part of it. So this concert, you will know how to be part of this because we will activate everything that we have been doing during the year of the I am. So we will be activating all this information from the whole year with songs that you already know. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> so um, this day, what we will do is not sit everywhere like in a concert. We will sit together with our groups, 45, 45, 45, so sorry, the 45 groups uh, with your coordinator, because we are all going to do the task of expanding this towards the network. We will have the Sphinx in front, the, the pyramids in front. So from there, we will spread all this with our singing towards the network of consciousness. And we will uh, show in this, we will, uh, we will share this through uh, the RSM Foundation channel, um, so everyone, the Ether group, can, <clears throat> can receive all this information, this energy, this music. And that's the moment when the Ether group start to spin in order to spread, to receive and spread with love all this information that we will be sending from the Sphinx, okay? Um, <clears throat> uh, bien. Um, Um, so, uh, remember that the, that group earth and air will be around too, and you will have to do what, uh, I already told you, which is earth holding the axis and, um, and air, uh, expanding all the information, um, that are in the groups. Um, bien. <clears throat> eh, So uh, <clears throat> the last activity that we will have will be the day 23rd at 5 a.m. on sunrise, at sunrise, and all the people of the event, but the people of AIR, the group AIR, uh, they, they are not included there. Uh, we will have a private visit to the Sphinx, that we can touch the Sphinx, we can be there, and it will be in silence. It will be just an inner um, process of thanking to the territory and saying to 
to these stones that everyone that we honor everyone that have been coming to this territory to do the same things as we do uh, and that, that and that now we are going to be spreading all this around the world again okay so that's what we will do as a closure remember that the concert uh, will be the 22nd from 6 p.m till 9 p.m egypt time hmm? So this is the information that I wanted to give you today regarding um, how is the, the, the itinerary, what are we going to do, and uh, which times, and all that. So we have that clear in our mind. OK, I hope, to, I hope it's clear. So tomorrow we will talk about um, the activation inside the pyramid. How it's going to be, how should I prepare myself, how it is to get inside the pyramid, and all, and what is going to happen inside, all that. Thank you, everybody, for being there, as always, and see you tomorrow at the same time.